One of the most mysterious and unexplored areas left on this planet is the ocean floor. We know next to nothing about it. We don't know what's down there, what creatures lurk in its depths, or even what it looks like. But gravity might be able to lend us a hand. Hey guys, Julia here for D News. Scientists recently used what's called gravity mapping to map the ocean floor. And just like that sounds, it's when satellites measure gravity to tell the topography of a place. In a study published in the journal Science, researchers merged data from two satellites to reveal the underwater map. The satellites, Cryosat 2 and Jason 1, measured the distance from their location in space to the surface of the land or water on Earth. After filtering out all the noise from waves and other temporary changes in the ocean surface, the satellites found certain areas areas in the ocean with more gravity than others. That's because the mass of a mountain under the ocean has more gravitational pull than the water around it. So the water kind of piles up on top of the mountain and creates different heights on the surface of the water. A lower area has less gravity than a higher area because there's less mass. Using these changes in gravity, scientists could measure the seafloor by measuring the surface of the ocean. The results confirmed some previous data on the bottom of the ocean and found some new discoveries too. In a study published in the journal Earth and Planetary Science Letters, researchers announced the discovery of a tiny new tectonic plate called the Mamrix Microplate. While most tectonic plates are huge, like thousands of kilometers across, this little guy is just 150 kilometers across, about half the size of England. While tiny, it broke off of a much bigger plate when the Indian plate and the Eurasian plate crashed into each other about 47 million years ago. This map reveals how little we know about the world around us. We've only mapped about 0.05% of the ocean floor to our highest level of resolution with sonar. Most recently, we're using gravity mapping, but 2,000 years ago, guys were just throwing measured ropes into the ocean with weights on the ends. There's still a lot we don't know. We do know gravity isn't equally distributed around our planet. How much gravity you experience at a specific point on the surface can change. Because Earth is more oblong than spherical, it's not equally dense, and the distance from the center of the Earth to where you stand can vary gravity's pull on you. Knowing all this, gravitational mapping has helped reveal new information about our planet. Like a study published in the journal Geophysical Research Letters found that the lowest acceleration due to gravity was on Mount Nevada Huascaran in Peru, while the highest is in the Arctic Ocean. As New Scientist puts it, if you fell from a height of 100 meters, you would hit the surface in Peru about 16 milliseconds later than in the Arctic. Weird, right? So why do we care? Besides the whole weighing less on a mountain in Peru thing? Well, it's helpful for building things. Engineers need to know the local gravity layout when designing buildings and infrastructure. And of course, measuring gravity is awesome, just for a better understanding of the bottom of the ocean. Maybe we'll finally know exactly what our home planet looks like. The oceans take up over 70% of this planet's surface, yet we know so little about them. Trace fills you in on all the bottomless details we know over on Test 2 Plus. Almost a third of our planet is the Pacific Ocean. And in case you're wondering in terms of measurement, that is 1.87 quintillion gallons. It's a lot of water. So map nerds out there, what is your favorite image or map of our pale blue dot? Let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and keep coming back to D News. We've got new episodes every day of the week.